I am so happy to have you here. My name is Kestrel. 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 K E S T R E L. Kestrel. Whoa. Okay, I'm not totally sure what happened there, but anyways, as you now definitely know, my name is Kestrel and this is Kestrel's corner. Actually, wait one second. I can do that way better. Stay right there. Oh, okay. Here it is. So my name is Kestrel, and this is Kestrel's Corner. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna have to clean that up. One second. Okay, so on today's show, we are going to have a very special guest who's going to be teaching us some very important things. But first, oops. Hey, Lola, oh my gosh, I didn't even see you sleeping there. How are you? Good morning. You are just in time to meet our friends. Wait, hold up, has it started? And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Okay, Lola, stop it. We have to introduce our first guest. We have kept him waiting long enough. I want to introduce you all to our very special guest. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Dr. David. Uh, whoa, Kestrel, Lola, it's so nice to see you, although... I seem to have misplaced my stethoscope. What's a stethoscope? A stethoscope is a tool I use to help me hear what's going on inside of people's bodies. Whoa, you can hear that? Like, um, you can hear everything going on inside of me? Yeah, but not right now. Not without my stethoscope. Oh, how does that work? I put the one end of my stethoscope to somebody's heart or lungs and the other part to my ear. Oh, oh I think that's... I'm just so upset. I don't know where it could have gotten to. Isn't it? It's black and silver and parts of it are metal. Well... I'm just so worried. I don't know what I'll do without it. Dr. David? What? It's around your neck. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Silly me, I was so worried. Phew, I am glad we figured that out. Okay, now, Dr. David, we are here today to learn about hygiene and why it is so important. What's a hygiene? Hygiene is a combination of habits we learn and practice to keep ourselves and others clean and healthy. It is a very big topic of conversation. I don't actually know where to begin. That's okay. There's no need to rush. We have lots of time. Okay, well, I guess I'll start at the beginning <gasps> with washing our hands. That is very important and one of the best ways we can avoid getting sick and prevent spreading germs. That's a great place to start. I've heard that washing our hands is super -dee, duper -dee, duper important. Hmm. Okay, I have something to share with all of you. I know how important it is to wash our hands, but sometimes when I'm in a rush or I just don't really feel like doing it, I like to just run them under the water a little bit. <gasps> what? Um, yes, uh, Kestrel, soap is what actually kills the germs that live on our hands. Mm-hmm. Did you know that the average person touches between 200 and 300 things a day? 
Whoa. And did you know that the average kid touches their face approximately 23 times per hour? Which means that we are transferring the amount of times we touch something divided by the amount of germs, then the amount of things touched, multiplied by face touches, minus hand washes equals... Times the hand washes minus the germs equals... Duh. Oof. Oof. Five million! Duh. No, something like that, but it's a lot. Wait, hold up. If we touch 300 things in a day, does that mean we need to wash our hands 300 times a day? <gasps> oh! No, I remember now. We should be washing our hands an average of five to 10 times a day. That makes sense. Okay, so Dr. David, how does washing our hands with soap <laughs> actually improve our hygiene. Oh, I am so glad you asked, Kestrel. I have a perfect science experiment in mind that will show us exactly how important it is to use soap when we wash our hands. Great. This little experiment is going to demonstrate everything perfectly. Now, let's add a dash of pepper to the water. The pepper represents the germs. Gesundheit! Great job, Lola! Now we have a real life version to compare to. The pepper is scattered on the water in a very similar way to the way that the germs from your sneeze exist on your hands. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see what happens when we add a little bit of soap to this bowl of germs. Whoa! When we use soap to wash our hands, it does a very similar thing by removing the germs from our hands Woo! and killing different types of bacteria. That was awesome! Now it's time to actually wash our hands. A great sustainability tip is to turn the water off while we're scrubbing with soap. That ensures that we wash our hands for the proper amount of time without wasting water. Ta-da! Ah. Oh no, I spilled soap everywhere. Oh, that's okay. You know what they say, don't cry over spilled soap. Uh... That's how it goes. But that's okay. Everybody makes mistakes sometimes. And everybody here is patient, kind, and covered in pink and orange fur. No, Lola, that's just you. Oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Wow, Dr. David, thank you so much for teaching us about the importance of hygiene and for leading us through such a cool experiment. You're welcome. Now, just to review some things we've learned before I go, can you think of some times that it's extra super -de duper important to wash our hands? <gasps> I have one. What about after we go to the bathroom? Oh, yes. Washing our hands after we go to the bathroom is very important. Imagine if we didn't wash our hands after we went to the bathroom. Ooh, what about before we eat? Yes, good one. If we don't wash our hands before we eat, then all the dirt, germs, and bacteria that's on our hands gets transferred to the food when we touch it, and then it gets in our mouths. And germs do not taste good. I have another one. What about after we go to a public place, like a playground or a grocery store? Good one, Lola! These are all places we interact with lots of different people and lots of things that other people touch. Wow, washing our hands is so important. It helps keep ourselves and others clean and healthy, just like you said. Now that I know how important soap is, though, I promise to wash my hands with water and soap, even when I'm in a rush or don't really feel like doing it. Thank you, Dr. David. Well, it looks like my job here is done. Thanks for having me.
Bye, Dr. David. Bye for now. That was great. And as for all of you, thank you for joining us today too. We learned a lot and we had a lot of fun along the way. So true. I really enjoyed our time together and I can't wait for our next show with our next interesting guest. Before you go, remember to subscribe to Kestrel's Corner, like the video, and share it with a friend, family member, classmate, or anyone else you think might like it too. In the meantime, remember to be kind to one another, try new things, make good choices, and remember to wash your hands. I was getting to that. Anyways, we'll see you next time. <gasps> Wait, can I give them one more kiss, please? Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.